the Heihe Tong Chong Line. The Earth is home to almost 8 billion people, but for a variety of reasons, the population is not evenly distributed around the globe. China is the most populous country in the world, with India a close second. China makes up almost 18% of the global population. But where in China do all these people live? To answer that question, in the mid-1930s, a Chinese academic named Hu Huangyong wrote a paper titled Distribution of China's Population. Using an imaginary line that bisects China, he presented the conceptual explanation that makes the unequal distribution of China's population easy to visualize. Known as the Heihe Tong Chong Line, it is also sometimes called the Hu Huanyong Line to honor its creator, or even simply the Hu Line. The line starts at Heihe at the northern border of Heilongjiang Province and runs southwest to Tongchong, a city in Yunnan province on the border with Myanmar. The great majority of people live to the southeast of this line. In fact, the population distribution contrast is stunning. Using current statistics, the northwest makes up 57% of China's land area, but holds only 6% of its population while the southeast is 43% of the area, but is home to 94% of the people. Although the Heihe Tung Chong line was originally intended to show population distribution, people have adopted the line to illustrate all sorts of data sets related to China. Maps available on the internet illustrate this line over data related to rail lines, highways, locations where patents have been obtained, and even nighttime light sources. But much of this data merely shows byproducts of higher concentrations of residents. Of greater interest is use of the line to illustrate underlying topographical or climatic influences on the suitability of an area to support a large number of inhabitants. For example, an illustration of the topography of China reveals rugged areas that might discourage population growth. Likewise, annual rainfall can be a factor in the suitability of land for agriculture. On this map, we can see that the area northwest of the line is generally dry and arid, whereas the blue-tinted areas in the southeast show an abundance of rainfall. In summary, although first discussed over 80 years ago, the Heihe Tung Chong line remains an important conceptual tool for understanding China's people, culture, and economy.